What is up guys, this is Rain. welcome back to another video. Lofos have been trending and getting even more popularity thanks to the resurgence of Y2K and Mintish as today. They have always been my favourite footwear rotation. Their timeless design, hostility and sartorial style makes them ideal for any season, occasion or outfit, almost like a pair of Converse. I like to wear them with high-waisted trousers, paired with anything on top like tank top with cardigan, shirt or anything else because of their timeless design. It depends on what kind of aesthetic you want to present out there. And today I found up different style of loafers from chunky to normal ones, pricey to affordable one for you guys. Before I start, give this video a like, share, comment and subscribe. Let's get into it. The Adrian Tesla loafer first hit the streets in 1980 with double taster and cutie fringe. The traditional unisex slip one loafer has been a classic since day one. Crafted from smooth leather, a lightly textured, highly durable material with soft sheen. This loafer is a Goodyear welded slip on shoe, a construction method that allows it to be resoled. It sits on their iconic airway sole and is oil and fat resistant with good abrasion and slips resistant. Part of the Doc Martens culture collection, this stylish shoe become a true classic worn by rock stars and hipsters. Personally, I have their classic 1461 Davies which I get it a few years back. The condition is still good like a new one. You just can't go wrong with Doc Martens. When it's classic penny loafers, GH Base is the original and arguably the best. The brand introduced a shoe in 1936, kickstarting its widespread popularity and still make the shoe in similar specs today. Their design is simple, elegant, and offers super value for money. You can expect premium leather uppers, hand stitch seams, a leather heel sock and sole, the famous penny slot detailing, and hand sole for just $135. These are about as close as it gets to a near perfect black loafer that doesn't compromise on quality. While the quality might not be like those high end brands, the silhouettes, value for money, and heritage of the brands are definitely worth it. A relative upstart compared to some of the names on this list. Duke Dexter was founded in 2015. They have expanded from its London roots into a global community, working with athletes, musicians, artists, designers, photographers, and pioneers who do things differently and go against the grain. This loafer created with Esquire was the top men's publications. The black leather penny loafer has been specially made with a custom off-white shape that continue through its lining. Handmade in England using a premium Borneo grey leather with a wax finish. This leather is incredibly durable and it gets better with age. The design is clean with rounded tools and soles which are neither too slim nor too chunky making them one stout and great for year-round wear. Joseph Shoe Artisan offer the highest quality leather shoes at an affordable price. This loafer was made for more general purpose to meet the primary function of penny loafers, dress shoes, and both formal and casual men's penny loafers. They use cow height for the upper and lining of the shoe with an autolite insole to get you through the day and a white room also for a sheer footed grip. The design is timeless and minimal, making it a style and won't go out of style. They have a classic resistant weight that is hard to find in this price range and the details that will make a long lasting difference. Naked Wolf was founded in 2017 and is the new generation of luxury fashion that focuses on men's and women's footwear. Unmuffy black leather, which is this loafer, is their latest creation, taking a timeless look and adding their twist. Features the debut of the new wolf head print and fitted with an oversized Cuban chain in matte black. The upper and lining is crafted with full leather with a rubber upsole. The designs are classic and timeless, as you guys can see with the chain detail 
give off a bit ish and has that rebel wipe. Not to mention, the chunky sole will give you 2 extra inches height wise. Firstly, I would suggest this if you want something really cool and not too flashy at the same time. An iconic style inspired by the Japanese tabby sock, merged with penny loper to create a hybrid shoe that pushes the boundaries of both classics. The shoe features a sleek construction accentuated by its smoothly buff finish. Starting at the top of the silhouette is a skinny penny saddle complemented by a large seam that extends down to the top of the crab split. The loafers are crafted from polished black leather with cut-out detailing at the vamp. Signature white stitching at the heel and creamy beige leather interiors complete the shoe. These signature tabby loafers will elevate you instantly. Prada Fuwe Forever favors chunky sole, military inspired durability and timeless silhouettes. Unique and bold, the shoe emphasizes the concept of duality which is in the aesthetic of Prada. The chunky sole with a unique monolithic design looks heavy but it's quite the opposite. By using light expanded rubber, Prada creates a sole unit that fitted with a 2 inches heel and a deep threaded look while making it very light. These loafers also feature a stick-on style with square-off tools and raised stitching. The enamel triangle logo on the front offers instant recognition. A hybrid yet harmonious soul characterizes the monolith line that combines a pose image to create a timeless silhouette that will go with everything. One of the reasons I like loafers is their versatility. They can go with any style from vintage, minimal, semi-formal, and many more. So it's definitely worth investing in a pair. Alright guys, I think that's all for it. I hope you guys get some idea on loafers and save it for your future purchase. Before end, please subscribe, like, share, and follow me on my Instagram and comment down below which pair of loafers is your favorite. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.